Uh, greetings to everybody gathered this evening. Um, whilst I'm a descendant from the uh, east coast of the North Island, I was born and bred here in Motueka and feel very much um, that this is my place to stand. This is my place of strength. This is my place of passion. Um, it's where I've dedicated my life to. And um, it's where I believe that so many of us who have gathered here this evening share a common passion to see the best um, come to fruition here. Uh, my background is in education. From the day that I turned five years old and first stepped across the threshold of the classroom, I knew immediately that my future would lay as a teacher. Um, it was on, upon entering the secondary system that I realised that I needed to specialise in Māori education and the revitalisation of our Māori culture and bring it back to um, sorry, and bring it back to my hometown here. Um, so my my big idea, um, I'm sure, is one that I share with so many people from throughout the district and throughout the world, and that is to redesign um, the education system that we uh, have here in our region. Um, whilst we can't take on perhaps the issues of the world, we can at least address the issues in our own region. And if we take um, take on the adage that it takes a community, it takes a village to raise a child, and if we think broadly as our region as being our collective community, then across our region we could actually do something really unique. Now we know that the rest of the world is already coming to our region to sample the beauty of nature that exists here, the reason why so many of us live here. Um, they're coming here anyway. Why not it that why not it be not only to sample our environment but also to sample something unique that we have compared to the rest of the world? How about we collectively um, design and instrument change in education so that our young people, because that's something we all have in common. When we start talking business and commerce, not it can't resonate with everybody because it's not everybody's world. Children are. It's, they touch our lives no matter who we are. If we look at that as our future and we all participate in, um, in supporting something unique and dynamic happening here, then I think that's something the rest of the world would be interested in coming to have a look at too. Somebody mentioned about Finland tonight. Uh, I, I applaud Finland for being innovative and creating a system that works better for them. And I think that we could use that model to create our own model for something that works for us. Um, something that Carenza um, spoke about not um, in, a, in, a, in a conversation I had with her recently was about the change that ha occurred in her life when she was exposed to a different way of being when she was staying in the homes of her friends and things. We could do that throughout the region. Rather than waiting for international exchange programs, we could actually initiate regional exchange programs as part of our school curriculum so that our young people could be exposed to lots of different ways of thinking and being. And I hope that would include about how we look after our environment and how we nurture our economy and all those important things. Um, that we could do that as part of our curriculum. So um, I would love to um, discuss more with, with like-minded people, and I'm aware that there are time constraints this evening. I could talk about this for decades, I, I guarantee you. Um, so therefore, I'll leave it there, um, but just with an invitation that we look at having future discussion forums, specifically on, uh, I'd like to see some specifically on remodelling education. I would love to see a more democratic, holistic approach to education, and one that really, really looks to at educultural um, opportunities. So... Um, just one little seed I'll leave because I can't not do this is that the if you look at the um, makeup of the top of the South Island with the mountains all around it there are marae scattered all along those coastal areas and these are the prime locations for bringing revitalizing our culture um, what if education worked hand in hand with iwi and used the marae as the place where the iwi told their own stories. Somebody mentioned tonight, I think it was you, Johnny, you didn't get the opportunity to learn about te taui hutanga. 
the best place to learn it is through the through the perspective of the people themselves, um, the local iwi telling their stories, and the best place for that to happen is their place of strength on their marae. So I would love to personally see marae become educational hubs, that education happens here. So those are some discussions that I would love to discuss further, but I'll leave that one there. Um, ngā mihi mai o hākia koutou, katoa tēnā koutou.